Hello and welcome. When you watch this, you might have taken the most important step in your PhD process already. That is the completion and submission of your thesis. If so, congratulations. In this short course, we will deal with the next important formal step, the defense of your thesis. Apart from the presentation and the discussion of your work itself, this is the moment where the senior academics in your PhD committee expect from you to show, usually in public, that you are now one of them and that you are able to lead an academic conversation at the same eye level. Compared to what you eventually have achieved with completing your thesis already, I dare to say this is an easy task. But many people get quite nervous and stressed when they think of standing in front of a PhD committee and being interrogated. And some see it literally as being about defending themselves, hence of being attacked or grilled. And indeed, the PhD committee's job is precisely to test you and I've attended some defenses with tough committee members asking challenging questions on the one side and sweating presenters on the other. However, what I've seen more often is that committee members are well aware of the challenging exam situation you are in and from my experience and interpretation, the majority wants candidates to look good and not at least help them to present themselves and their knowledge. Most importantly, a PhD committee usually constitutes an audience of interested experts and discussants with whom you have a rare chance of a longer and in-depth conversation about your research. You have the opportunity of showing them and the audience in the room what you have achieved over the last years. You might be surprised, but you can indeed look forward to and enjoy this opportunity. It does not have to be grilling, it can be very thrilling in a very positive sense. But this is also true. It usually requires some good preparation for tapping this opportunity. Hence, I would like to share with you some insights and formulate some concrete advice in the short course on how you can prepare for your defense. In particular, how to prepare for the basics of your defense, the presentation, the question answer part, and the general setting. What I'm going to tell you is derived from my long work as a graduate school coordinator and the attendance of many PhD defenses, primarily in the social sciences. I've also cross-checked this with other texts and talks on the subject, which often come to similar conclusions. Let's start with the basics. For preparing yourself properly for the defense, you need to know first of all, of course, what you precisely need to prepare for. One necessary step is to make yourself familiar with the formal rules for your defense, which may differ considerably among disciplines, institutions, across countries and academic systems. So, what are the written rules for PD defense at your institution? What do they say, if anything, on the basic content and purpose of the exam? In some disciplines or academic systems, the defense is not only about your thesis, but also implies an exam on your academic field or discipline. Do the regulations prescribe a certain structure of the session, its overall length and the time for your presentation? What do the rules say on the composition of the PhD committee and the significance of the defense for your grading? Those rules are laid down in the relevant PhD regulations of your faculty and university. And if you are not sure which rules apply or where to find them, ask your PhD program coordinator, the PhD office or your supervisor. But apart from the written rules, there are usually also some non-written rules or informal requirements which I strongly recommend exploring. Are there specific expectations at your institution of the committee members or the committee chair, for instance on the presentation mode, the length and structure of your presentation or on the questions and answer part? For finding out about those less formal expectations, you could ask your supervisor, anyway a person you should consult before your defense, but also postdocs or senior academics at your department might be good persons to talk to. If you are affiliated with a graduate school or work in a department, you might have attended a PhD defense already before. If not, you could consider this option for gaining a first-hand experience of the situation which you are in soon. Apart from knowing the rules and expectations, it is often quite useful or at least interesting to know your PhD committee members in advance. You could ask the committee chair who will be at your committee. And you could do then a little research on the field, their theoretical and methodological leaning, etc. because this might influence their questions. You could also ask peers, colleagues or postdocs at your department about their experiences with them as PhD committee members. 
if those PhD committee members come from your institution. But most importantly, make sure that you know your thesis. This is the basis of a defense after all. And although you are the person who knows it best, read it again for your defense, especially if you have completed it some time ago. You will just be better prepared to react to questions on the text or be able to refer to it when you are challenged on an aspect you have written on. And don't forget, all this takes a while, as you can imagine. So start your preparation for the defense not too late if you want to reduce your stress level.